Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Kalyan Bumakanti. I'm a neurosurgeon with specialized training in endoscopic skull base and endoscopic spine surgeries. So welcome everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about an important case, important patient which I am operated. This patient has low back pain. This patient has slip disc. He was suffering from sciatica. So majority of the patients want to know when is surgery indicated for them. If surgery is indicated, what is the best surgical option available? I know if you are searching, searching for a surgical option for slip disc, you would have come across numerous surgical options. It comes with experience. It comes with knowledge. So I'm, I'm discussing this patient. I will tell you as a surgeon, as a doctor, how I decide which one is best for them. And e patient came to SMO, how the outcome was. So Miko, ye the best technique and telvalante, try to stay until the end. Prati patient ki same surgery chayam. It depends on its symptoms, its clinical findings, its MRI findings, a lot many. So once you go along this presentation, you will understand how a surgeon or a, or a doctor thinks when to operate and if you have to operate, which is the better technique for this particular patient. After this, you have a series of my presentations on videos. Each video is regarding a different patient. So each video will tell you why we opted for a different surgery for a different patient. Chalo, let's start with our presentation. So let's start with our presentation. So this is a case of two level lumbar canal stenosis, which is treated by full endoscopic discectomy. First, let us see the patient symptoms, patient complaints. This is a 43 year old male patient. He presented with severe low back pain radiating along the left lower limb, which he has been experiencing since the past six months. So this patient also has tingling and numbness in the left lower limb, left leg, and occasionally similar sensations on the right side for the past two months. Let's also see what his previous treatment history was. Remember, he has been suffering since the six months. So with this so much of pain, so much of back pain, so much of leg pain, so much of tingling, numbness with if only symptoms the patient will not remain happy. So probably he would have taken treatment elsewhere. So he either know what treatment he has taken. He has taken painkillers and uropathic drugs like pregalin and gabapentin for the five months. But he has also tried physiotherapy. He also tried chiropractic therapy. He has also tried naturopathy and yoga. Of all these, Physiotherapy has given him temporary pain relief. Even if the patient has come to me. Initially, for all the patients, we give a trial of medical management, conservative management. Until minimum three weeks working, we give them painkillers, we give them bed rest, we give them either one of these modalities. Kontamandi physiotherapy panjastuni, kontamandi chiropractic panjastuni, kontamandi naturopathy, kontamandi yoga. We give them all the options. We give, let them explore all the options. Only when all these options exhaust, we will think of surgical options. This patient underwent, before coming to me itself, he underwent, he tried all these options, but only physiotherapy gave him some pain relief and that too only temporary. So as soon as the patient was dropping painkillers, he had recurrence of pain. So when he has come to me, we examine him. Examination is very important because in examination, we'll come to know has the nerve been compressed significantly by slip disc? Is there any decrease in the function of the nerve? Yes, this patient has. 
he has a decrease in sensations or numbness by 50 percentage of the upper surface of left foot. He has weakness in the left grade to both up and down. The power is 3 by 5 as per the MRC grading. The straight leg raising sign, which is an examination which is done by us, by, by the clinician, by the surgeon, to look for nerve stretching, <coughs> and it was negative. There were diffuse lower back tenderness and no focal localized tenderness over face joints, which could be elicited. So these were my examination findings. So let us analyze our symptoms and findings. So what was the pain? He was having pain, low back pain. The pain was radiating along the left buttock and legs. This image is showing, yeah, like this. The patient has pain in the left buttock and also legs. These are, and the pain was increasing on bending forward and sitting or squatting. All these features are classical features of sciatic. Now that the patient is suffering from sciatica, we need to know which nerve is getting compressed. Maraki, a nerve compression and tolerance is very important. So let's analyze the symptoms. This patient has told that he has decrease in sensations in this region or the dorsum of the foot. So let me highlight that one. So let me use a highlighter. So this patient has sensations lost somewhere over this region. Let me change the color. Let me change the color. I'm not able to change. Okay, in color, let me use the red one. Yeah, no. So this patient, as per the history, has a decrease in sen sensation in this area. My body, lo, my spinal cord, each nerve supplies one particular part of the skin. They are called dermatomes. So, the patient has a decrease in sensation in L5 dermatome and S1 dermatome. So, the symptoms, the examination findings, we, come, we came to know that patient left side L5 and S1 are getting compressed. Now, myotome. Similarly, as each spinal nerve supplies one region of the skin, which is called a dermatome, it also supplies, <coughs> it also supplies some, re, some particular muscles or movements. These are called myotomes. E patient chepina to great toe dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. Both of them were weak. So let's see which myotome they come. They come in L4 and L5. I see. So these fingers, your dorsiflexion movements, ne? this one you can see. Plantar and dorsiflexion. These come in L4, L5, L5, S1, S1, S2. So basically, so from dermatome and the myotomal analysis, we came to know that left-sided L5 and S1 were involved. Now, these are the MRI cuts. Let's see. So, MRI cut low, is the L4, L5 disc, is the L5, S1 disc. Other options, laser pointer. So, this is L5, S1. This is L4, L5. So, this one is L4, L5. Similarly, this one is L5, S1. So, E disc ni manam sa axial cut lo chusta. So, no, me choose na to e the left side, e the right side, e the L4, L5, e the L5, S1, e the L3, L4, e the L3, L4. When you put axial cuts, you say first L3, L4, choose the normal side. When you choose the left side nerve free, the right side nerve free. Can you cut your hand? Left side nerve can be at least. It is cut off. This is because of bulge and disc bulge, which is seen on the left side. 
రైట్ సైడ్ కూడా డిస్క్ బల్జ్ వల్ల నర్వ్ కంప్రెస్ అయి ఉంది బట్ ఇట్స్ మోర్ ఆన్ ది లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ అలాగే సిమిలర్లీ ఎల్ఫా ఎస్ వన్ లో దే సైడ్ డిస్క్ బల్జ్ ఆన్ ఇదర్ సైడ్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లెస్ కంపేర్ టు ది ఎల్ ఫోర్ ఎల్ఫా సో దిస్ పేషెంట్ హ్యాస్ ఎల్ ఫోర్ ఎల్ఫా అండ్ ఎల్ఫా ఎస్ వన్ డిస్క్ బల్జెస్ L4 L5 is severe on both the sides but among both the side left side is more severe L5 S1 is severe on the left side and the white zone chusama the white zone is hyperintense zone antamo ikkada meek dot lock kanapadutundi ikkada kuda sagittal cut lock this indicate that there is some acute recent injury to the disc so ippudu mana final diagnosis enti mana history nunchi క్లినికల్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఫైండింగ్స్ నుంచి ఎంఆర్ఐ నుంచి మూడు కొరిలేట్ కావాలి వై ట్రై టు కొరిలేట్ ఆల్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ సో దిస్ పేషెంట్ హ్యాస్ లెఫ్ట్ ఎల్ ఫైవ్ ఎస్ వన్ రాటిక్లోపతి అంటే లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఎల్ ఫైవ్ ఎస్ వన్ నర్వ్ కంప్రెస్ అవుతుంది డ్యూ టు ప్రొలాప్స్ ఎల్ ఫైవ్ ఎస్ వన్ ఎల్ ఫైవ్ ఎస్ వన్ డిస్క్ అండ్ అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్రొలాప్స్ బిస్ పేషెంట్ హ్యాస్ సివియర్ లాటరల్ కెనాల్ స్ట్రీనోసిస్ ante side skip a bilateral l4 l5 disc and left uh, l4 l5 not l5 s1 uh, sorry sir and right l5 s1 this is an error and right l5 s1 disc hiz hiz zone is seen in both l4 l5 and l5 s1 disc so this is our final diagnosis before i embark before i suggest any treatment it's very important that my diagnosis is sure spine low the as strong your diagnosis is so well the patient will improve manam pain generator ni identify cheyadam tappu chesamo the patient outcomes will also be worse this is very difficult in spine so number of times if i fail a wrong diagnosis is one of the cause and which is very common in spine disorders in spite of putting a lot of efforts a number of times we go wrong in the diagnosis we go wrong in identifying the pain generators so what are the non such now coming to treatment ikkanchi concentrate cheyandi this will tell you when we go for surgery as i have told you every patient unless and until he has weakness or sensory loss when he comes to us they are given good trial of మెడికల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అంటే నాన్ సర్జికల్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఇందాక చెప్పే మెడిసిన్స్ ఇస్తాము ఫిజియోథెరపీ ఇస్తాము కైరోప్రాక్టిక్ ట్రై చేయమని చెప్తాము యోగా ట్రై అవి చెవర్ బట్ ఫర్ అస్ ది ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ చాయిసెస్ ఫిజియోథెరపీ ఇవి ఫెయిల్ అయ్యాయి అనుకోండి వై గివ్ ఎపిడ్యూరల్ స్టెరాయిడ్ ఇంజెక్షన్స్ ఈ పేషెంట్ లాస్ట్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ సఫర్ అవుతున్నాడు నా దగ్గర కాకుండా వేరే డాక్టర్ దగ్గర మెడిసిన్స్ ట్రై చేశారు ఫిజియోథెరపీ ట్రై చేశాడు కైరోప్రాక్టిక్ ట్రై చేశాడు ఏడేం ట్రై నాచురోపతి అని యోగా he have failed any he tried epidural steroid injection also worked for 2 or 3 days and then it was of no use so because all the surgical treatments non surgical treatments failed and examination we have seen signs of nerve compression that is sensory loss on the l5 and s1 dermatome lo second one muscle weakness on the myotome lo l5 s1 myotome so nerve compression symptoms se- severe unnai anni non surgical management try is then we advise them surgical management if you are looking for a surgery concentrate from here all the people who go for surgery which surgical option is very confusing and it's confusing for many doctors and sometimes even for me because we have many options available we have the options of open surgery which is laminectomy and discectomy we have options of spinal fusion which is laminectomy and discectomy with with screws and rods and cage this is screw this is a cage and this is a rods we have options of microscopic lumbar laminectomy and discectomy we have options of endoscopic discectomy so let us discuss which is the best option all the options are good but some options are latest of all the four options the endoscopic spine surgery is the latest option in open surgery we take a skin incision which is up uh, we will compare 111 in all the options 
first skin incision skin incision uh, before i see spinal fusion eppudu chestamo disc tho part bones kuda kadilay ankonde spondylolisthesis anta appudu manam spinal fusion chestam ee patient ki manam mri lo bones kadalle listhesis ledhu meek choinchaledu gaani x ray lo dynamic x rays anta ante patient ni mundu ki venkala ki vongi బోన్స్ మూవ్ అవుతున్నాయి చూస్తాం ఆ బోన్స్ ని బట్టి బ్రాంచ్ చెప్తాం అది చేసాము దానిలో మూవ్మెంట్ లేదు సో ఈ పేషెంట్ కి స్పాండాలో లెస్టసెస్ లేదు కాబట్టి ఈ పేషెంట్ కి స్పైనల్ ఫ్యూజన్ చేయము సో దిస్ ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ లెఫ్ట్ అవుట్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎ బిగ్గర్ ఆప్షన్ బిగ్గర్ సర్జరీ మేజర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దిస్ అమాంగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఫోర్ సో స్పైనల్ ఫ్యూజన్ అనేది యాజ్ ఏ న్యూరో సర్జన్ కంపల్సరీ అయితే తప్ప చెయ్యము as much as possible we'll try to do a minimal approach so idi spondylolisthesis ledhi kabatti vertebrae oka oka dan meed oka jara ledhi kabatti spinal fusion an option thesesa unda mood options lo compare cheyam open surgery micro discectomy endoscopic spine surgery oka dan meed oka compare cheyam skin incision open surgery lo స్కిన్ ఇన్సిషన్ ఒక్క లెవెల్కి ఇంచుమించి వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ టూ ఇంచెస్ ఉంటుంది మైక్రోడిస్కెక్టమీలో అరౌండ్ వన్ ఇంచ్ ఉంటుంది ఎండోస్కోపీ డిస్కెక్టమీలో స్కిన్ వన్ సెంటీమీటర్ కానీ తక్కువ స్కిన్ ఇన్సిషన్ ఉంటుంది సో ఆఫ్ ది త్రీ ఆప్షన్స్ ఎండోస్ ఎండోస్కోపీ డిస్కెక్టమీ ఈస్ ది బెస్ట్ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు స్కిన్ ఇట్ కాసెస్ మినిమల్ డ్యామేజ్ ఆఫ్ లెస్ దెన్ వన్ సెంటీమీటర్ this is cosmetically very good heal ayipindi adi usual kanipiyadu majority of time stretch avasaram padadu padina oka stretch padutundi ee skin incision takku undadam valla surgery tarata pain kuda chaala takku untundi second one muscle damage manam open surgery lo entaithe 1 and 1/2 inches cut chestamo skin kuda anta separate cheyalsi ostundi so around 1 and 1/2 inches is skin damage untundi సిమిలర్లీ మైక్రో డిస్కెక్టమీలో అరౌండ్ వన్ ఇంచ్ ఏదైతే ఇన్సిషన్ తీసుకుంటామో మజిల్ కూడా వన్ ఇంచ్ కట్ చేస్తాం ఎండోస్కోపిక్ స్పైన్ సర్జరీలో ఈ ఫోటో చూపించినట్టు ఇట్స్ ఎ ట్యూబులార్ డివైస్ పెన్ లాగా ఉంటుంది మజిల్ని ఎక్కువ డ్యామేజ్ చేయకుండా మజిల్ని సపరేట్ చేస్తూ చొచ్చుకోబోతుంది సో వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు మజిల్ డ్యామేజ్ ఎండోస్కోపిక్ స్పైన్ సర్జరీ ఈస్ ది బెస్ట్ థర్డ్ బోన్ ఓపెన్ సర్జికల్ ఆప్షన్ లో ఈ ఫిగర్ లో కొంచెం చాలా బోన్ తీస్తాం మైక్రోడిస్కెక్టమీలో ఓపెన్ సర్జరీతో పోలిస్తే బోన్ తక్కువ తీస్తాము కానీ దానికన్నా ఎండోస్కోపీ డిస్కెక్టమీలో ఇంకా చాలా 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 తక్కువ బోన్ ఎండో ఎండోస్కోపీ డిస్కెక్టమీలో వీ రిమూవ్ హార్డ్లీ వన్ ఎంఎం ఆ టూ టూ టు త్రీ ఎంఎం ఆఫ్ బోన్ సో వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు బోన్ డ్యామేజ్ ఎండోస్కోపీ డిస్కెక్టమీ ఇస్ ది బెస్ట్ లేటర్ ఆన్ నర్వ్ డ్యామేజ్ మనకి నర్వ్ డ్యామేజ్ అనేది ఇట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ హౌ క్లియర్లీ ఐఎమ్ ఏబుల్ టు ఐడెంటిఫై ది నర్వ్స్ ఓపెన్ సర్జరీలో మ్యాగ్నిఫికేషన్ ఉండదు ఇల్యూమినేషన్ పోర్ ఉంటుంది వెరాస్ మైక్రోస్కోపిక్ సర్జరీ అండ్ ఎండోస్కోపిక్ సర్జరీలో వి నర్వ్ మ్యాగ్నిఫై అయి చాలా క్లియర్ కనపడుతుంది సో నర్వ్ సర్జరీ ఇస్ మినిమమ్ ఇన్ మైక్రోడిస్కెక్టమీ అండ్ ఎండోస్కోపిక్ డిస్కెక్టమీ next coming to success rate success rate is the best when you compare those both, both one the success rate is best in micro discectomy and endoscopy discectomy which is usually 90 to 95% when it comes to complications complications are more in open surgery less in microscopic surgery and very less in endoscopic discectomy so ఈ పేషెంట్ కి వెన్ యూ కంపేర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ది ఫస్ట్ బెస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ వాస్ ఎండోస్కోపిక్ స్పైన్ సర్జరీ దిస్ ఇస్ యాజ్ పర్ మై ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ మై నాలెడ్జ్ మై ట్రైన్ సెకండ్ బెస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ విల్ బి మైక్రో లంబా లామినెక్టమీ అండ్ డిస్కెక్టమీ ఆర్ మైక్రో లంబా లామినోటమీ అండ్ డిస్కెక్టమీ ఫర్ మీ థర్డ్ బెస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ విల్ బి అన్ ఓపెన్ సర్జరీ సో ఓపెన్ సర్జరీ రోలే లేదా 
No, open surgery is still as a rule. In very complicated cases, ante spine vankar gondi. Leda, one disc ka akunta, two ka akunta, three naal disc lo jare. He patient ki rondey disc lo na. Adi gorada oka level only one side. So, he patient ke the open surgery option ka. But there are some patients where open surgery is the best option. But for this patient, endoscopic spine surgery is the first best option. Micro, microscopic surgery is the second best option. And third option is the open surgery. So let's see what we have done. So after discussing with the patient, after discussing all the options, we have went ahead with endoscopic discectomy. So this is what we have done. This is what we have done. This is a tubular retractor, a small skin incision. We have placed, we have placed a series of dilators. You can make skin incision. Our tube blown in Chipoy, endoscope petty. You can see this. Our tube blown endoscope lunch, my instruments for that. Chala chinna part of bone, this ammo. Chala using a drill, very microscopic endoscopic drill. Try to correlate this picture with this one. This is the patient view. This is the endoscopic view, magnified view. A chinna gotam lantinchi, endoscope niche my instruments by see chinna got tissue muscles, this don't a nerve can put me. This is the nerve. The endoscope niche crystal clear magnified image can put me. This is the drill. Have removed a small portion of the bone. The nerve, the compression ligamentum has been removed. Either the jar in a disc window. Our disc can go to forceps the pieces. So, either the nerve with the compression and the nerve free. This is the animated video. This is the real video. Surgery in Taravata, this is the L5 S1 now. Rendu nerves disc this in the free woman. So, this patient has been completely relieved of his pain. So this patient has been completely relieved of pain. So as I've told you, coming to a diagnosis is very important. A nerve compressor in the pain generator say though, are the detailed history taking, physical examination and MRI reading along with supplementary X-rays and CT scan. If they confirm chest all the four surgical options are for majority of the cases, endoscopic discectomy can be done. But for some patients, we still have to do micro discectomy or an open surgery. If you have spondyl esthesis, you can do spinal fusion. So only your surgeon after a thorough analysis can give you. So a surgeon who is trained at all the three is very, very important. Only then you can take a proper decision. Thank you. Niko Ardamendan Kuntano. Alagne, go to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Dana endoscopy discectomy gurinchi, micro discectomy gurinchi, open discectomy gurinchi, anni kurinchi matladam. Alagne, sciatica karna lenti, nanela prevenciali. Alang, there are a number of operative videos where we have taken a decision. Same surgery is not the best for every patient. Every patient is different. Each patient requires a tailored surgery. So our decision is not this when you read for when you see around 10 videos, we get this gross idea of why surgeons advise a different surgery for different patients and why it's important to choose a surgeon who is trained at all the things. Thank you.